Hey everyone, this is Dhruvin and I am come up with another October 2020 Power BI update. In this session, we are going to talk about how we can only retrieve the column set in the default view of SharePoint list. So without wasting much time, let's get started with our development part. First of all, let me show you my list data structure. So basically, I have the SharePoint list named lives. You can see that by default, all item view is showing here. All item view is set as the default view of this SharePoint list, right? Now, let's say I wanted to prepare Power BI report only using specific columns from this particular view, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm just creating a separate view for my SharePoint list and then I wanted to load only that view from SharePoint to Power BI, right? So I'm going to show you that step-by-step -step procedure over here. So first of all, let's say uh, I'm just creating one separate view for that. So I'm just clicking on save as view. So I'm just uh, copy my all items view and now I just wanted to make Power BI view, PBI report, right? And now let me just click on save, right? Now uh, my view has been saved. Now I only need specific columns. So I'm just removing unwanted column. So I'm clicking on add column, clicking on show hide column. And now let's say I only need this many of columns. I do not need any other additional columns like leaves type or select type. I just wanted to know this six column, right? So I'm just clicking on apply. So my view will be looking like this. Now, what I wanted to do here is I wanted to make this view as a default view. Now, I wanted to make this view as a default view. So just click here and select set current view as default. So this will make this SharePoint list view as a default view, right? Now the question arises in your mind that Dhruvin, why did you set this view as a default view of SharePoint list, right? So I'm going to answer this question over here. So let me just move over to my Power BI desktop, right? First of all, click on get data. Before we start, before you get started, make sure that you have updated your Power BI desktop with the latest version of October 2020. Only at that time, this feature will be available to you, right? So first of all, click on get data. From cl click on more, right? Now, this will open one pop-up for us. Now, go to the online services. From here, select SharePoint online list. Click on connect. We need to provide site URL over here. So let me just copy site URL from here. So basically my site URL is this one, live application. So make sure that you copy this URL and make sure that you add the slash at the end. Just paste your URL over here. Now, this is the most important thing. This is the new update that has been rolled out in October 2020. Like uh, here we can see two implementation 1.0 and 2.0. 1.0 will work as expected at this moment. Like it will load all the columns of your SharePoint online list. And now we are going to move forward with 2.0. We need to select this beta connector over here, right? Here we have two different modes. One is all which retrieve all the columns from SharePoint online list. And second one is default meaning it will retrieve the column set in the default view of SharePoint list. As I told you, I want to prepare my Power BI desktop report with only specific column of the view that I have created in SharePoint online list. So I set that view as a default view and that's the reason why that default view column will be loaded to this particular Power BI desktop report. And that is the reason that we need to set our view as a default view. So just select that one and click on OK. Now, here you just need to sign in. So I'm just signing in my account. Click on connect. Now, you just need to select your list. So basically my list name is leaves list. So I'm just selecting that list. And you can see that in preview, we are able to see only the columns that are appear into the view, right? So I'm just click on load. And here we are. The data has been loaded successfully. Let me go to the edit query and let me show you the columns over here. So this is my SharePoint list view and here you can see that this six different columns are there and only those six column has been added over here, right? 
So this is how we can only load the columns which are available into default view of SharePoint online list. So isn't that amazing? This is something which is save our lots of data load timing over there because what happen here is whenever we are loading the entire SharePoint list it loads all the columns right so sometimes it is taking more time and this one is something which will be very faster Microsoft will definitely gradually improve this one thing that I don't like about this connector is that it is only load the column from the default view actually they should provide a functionality that a user can select the specific view from the selected SharePoint online list and uh, we would be able to load the columns from the any view of SharePoint online list it is not it should not be necessary that we need to make our view as a default view right but let's see let's add that to our user voice into power bi and let's say gradually Microsoft will improve that feature as well but till then this is also good right so I think I'm good if you have any question related to this topic you can add your question in the comment section if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel stay tuned with me on Facebook LinkedIn Twitter podcast and Google from also if you wish to receive the daily notification from my channel click on this link it will be redirecting you to this form fill the form and you will be receiving daily notification on your whatsapp number also if you wanted to listen to different podcasts just click on this link it will be redirecting you to my podcast homepage. from there you can listen different podcast on google podcast uh, spotify and apple podcast right so stay tuned with me for the amazing session tips and tricks over here thank you so much have a great day goodbye